Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. In this video we're starting part C of our Grade 8 2011 Gauss Contest and we're looking at question 21. A collection of coins includes only pennies worth 1 cent, nickels worth 5 cents, dimes worth 10 cents, and quarters worth 25 cents. Using the coins in this collection it is possible to create any amount of money less than $1. What is the smallest possible number of coins in the collection? Hmm. Okay, so what, what can we do? How can we, uh, how can we approach this? So we're talking about trying to make any amount of money less than one dollar. So that ranges from one cent all the way up to 99 cents. I need enough coins to make these. Okay, and, and, you know, two cents and, and 98 cents and everything like that. But we need everything in the middle. Now, we might say, okay, what's, what's the hardest thing to do? Okay, what's going to require the most coins? And you'll notice if we just try and do things with pennies, you need one penny for one cent, two pennies for two cents, three pennies for three cents, four for four, five pennies for five cents. But of course, then we get kind of lucky. There's a coin that handles five cents for us. Okay, so we'd actually only need one at that point. Okay, and then six cents, you'd be back up to two, and so on. Now you could you could keep going with this and ask yourself, okay, what's the little the smallest amount of money I need for each of these? Okay, but you could also, for example, say, all right, what's going to be what what patterns do I notice? And I notice as the numbers go up, I need more coins, and then every once in a while, I get lucky at five cents and ten cents and twenty five cents, uh, things will sort of work out because there are coins for that but basically the higher the number in theory the more coins i should need okay so how many coins do i need for 99 cents okay so 99 cents well we can use uh what is called uh, um, for you know in computer science circles uh, this is called the greedy algorithm we just say okay 99 cents how many 25 cents can you get close to that well three of them and then what's left over? 24. Okay, 24 uh, cents left over. So I still need I need to make up 24 cents. But I can't use any quarters. So instead, how about we, we see how many dimes? How many dimes does it take to make 24 cents? Well, two dimes. Okay. And that works out quite nicely. But we've got four cents left over. Okay. Now we say, okay. Oops. We say, all right. How 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 can you make up four cents? Well, there's really only the one way. Four one cent coins, and so you might say, oh, well, you just need three quarters, two dimes, and four pennies, and that's a total of nine, and you're all set, right? And is nine even one of the answers? No, it's not, which is nice. Sometimes they'll, they'll put one of the wrong answers in there that people might immediately jump to and guess uh, and then move on without thinking about it. But there is no 9. I see no 9, so automatically I know 9 doesn't cut it. Now, I've definitely used more than 7, so at least we've narrowed that. Uh, we've gotten rid of that option. But 10, 11, 13, 12? Where can I go from here, and what am I missing? Well, I've actually already pointed it out a little bit. Well, you need at least one nickel to do this five cents here. Yeah, so I need at least one nickel. You don't use a nickel for 99 cents, but you might use a nickel for something like, say, 80 cents, which would be three quarters and then one five cent piece. All right? There's no way to use the, the dimes are too much and you don't have enough pennies. Now, if you wanted to make five cents, you could, I guess, include just another penny because you've already got four of them. Or you could add in another nickel. We don't care what coins. We just want to know the minimum number of coins. And I'm pretty sure 10 should be the answer. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to sort of quickly try and, and think about it. So the four pennies gets me anything from one, two, three, or four. The one nickel gets me five. Actually, no, if we did just add in another penny, there'd be no way to reasonably get six. So we add in one nickel, 
And then that with those four can get me anything six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we add in a dime. And then the dime plus any of the previous amounts will work out. And then you would need to go to 20, but fortunately we do have two dimes. And we can take those two dimes and we can add on a penny, another penny, another penny, another penny. We can get anything from 1 to 24. And then the quarters kick in. Right? And now once I've got the quarter, I can take any of these, any ways to express 1 up to 24, and just add them on to my single quarter, and I can get anything up to 49. But then I'll need another quarter for 50. Well, fortunately, I've said we've got a qu another quarter. All right, we're working with three quarters. So we can get 50 all the way up to 74 and 75 all the way up to 99. So it all works out and we just need 10. And so that's an answer of A, there we go. So we had to think through it. We did, you know, we needed at least one other coin because we saw that nickel there, we wrote it out. Um, and, and so we need one more, so that's 10. And that works out kind of nicely, a little kind of interesting. Uh, there, incidentally, if you're interested in this sort of thing, there, there is sort of research or investigation or, or stuff going on to sort of say, well, you know, if I use these types of coins, you know, maybe a one cent, a three cent, a seven cents, and eleven cents, on average, how many coins do I need? And you can actually try and design number systems so people are keeping. Uh, as, as little change in their pocket and their pants are being weighed down by as little uh, hefty coinage as, as possible. And that's kind of an interesting thing uh, to, to look into if you're curious. But <clears throat> if you're not, then we can move right along to question number 22. And I'll see you for that next time.